Hi, my name is Sam. I am a 42 student that is currently graduating. Today I will talk about my internship at ITAS, which is a subsidiary of Bosch. My interviewing process began at Summerfest, where I met for the first time Ansgar. Hi, my name is Ansgar. I'm running all of our open source engagements within ETAS. Thereby, I was the hiring manager for Sam, who is a 42 graduate. Sam was just approaching me, uh, getting me into a chat. Yeah, we were just talking about possibilities to do an internship. I already, during that chat, liked a lot this kind of outgoing and uh, approachable way of how Sam is engaging with me in the conversation. After a while, we scheduled uh, the first uh, behavior interview where I met my mentors and the second interview uh, there was the technical part. I was uh, offered to bring a project of my choice. I chose Minishell because it was the first very challenging project at 42. I had a lot of emotional baggage uh, related to that project that led me to uh, speak of it with a very entertaining way because I was really into all the lines that I wrote. During that process, what I again liked a lot is that uh, Sam anyway tried to keep me in that loop by texting me like, I had this interview with ABC from your team, it was like this and this to me, which I also liked a lot because he was very engaging. In general, two different skills. On the one hand side, we are software developers, so we are engaging in open source communities, develop code there. So we had obviously the hard skills of being able to program something, especially we're using Rust as a programming language, but also uh, older stuff like C, C++, which is usually the programming languages if you talk about embedded engineering, what we are talking about in our context. Something I enjoyed a lot during my internship was uh, the switch of language. I had to pick up Rust, which is a language that I had experienced in the past, but I had to boost a lot of in terms of my knowledge of the language. Moreover, writing programs that are asynchronous, that uh, live in a Docker code base that has multi-containers. Although it was very hard, I feel like the, the 42 uh, curriculum gave me the basis to, to learn it properly. The biggest soft skill that I can mention would be problem solving. Being able to communicate well, presentation skills and just having this kind of outgoing character and uh, communication style, which both together then is also a thing tough to find. Enter inside a company, you need to know uh, what to ask and who to ask to. You need to uh, take initiative and ask. Well, I've been seeing him in uh, two occasions where he was uh, presenting something in the team but also in a bigger audience where we've been on a hackathon here in Berlin where he presented something to a huge audience. Presentation skills and this self-organizing, self-solution finding to problem skills is uh, excellent from my point of view. Those hard skills you learn during your studies and the soft skills you learn throughout your whole life, how to apply that in a meaningful way in a business context. There's more between being able to code in C or being able to code in any other programming language, figuring out how does that relate and how do I integrate myself into a team, how do I contribute to a bigger project, how are projects in bigger organization organized. This is, from my point of view, something which has to do with the 42 style of uh, studies where you're re reliant on yourself mostly and you need to take care how you solve your projects and run your project. Yes, I feel like 42 prepared me for the job. In this industry, uh, you can never stop learning. It is up to you to take the knowledge that 42 provides you and elevate it in order to excel. If you're looking for people who can quickly get into the job and uh, uh, work in a context you'd like them to work in, I'd say the 42 curriculum is a good preparation for that. Not only you learn hard skills in that uh, curriculum of the 42, but you learn to organize yourself, to uh, uh, structure yourself, to find your way in and around problems uh, by just uh, yeah, looking for the help you require. What I like a lot about the cooperation also which we have with 42 schools is that Industry fellows like us can not only get access to that uh, hiring pipeline of the school uh, and thereby access to young talents, but on the other hand uh, also have an opportunity to influence what these young talent and students are learning by contributing our projects and ideas on uh, what is the skills, the hard skills, coding skills uh, we require them to learn. Uh, into those schools. So that's uh, how we can easily and quickly influence also if there's anything which we believe they are lacking and we would love them to bring if they 
uh, get into jobs in our uh, corporation, then we can contribute those to the schools, which makes an absolute sense from my point of view. At 42, I learned how to learn in an environment that gave me the time to learn how to learn too. The 42 curriculum uh, prepares students well for a future uh, role in tech because it also simulates an environment of working at a tech company. Your colleagues, which are learning with you, are striving to write programs and uh, you learn from them and you also teach them at the same time.